Now to a happy update to a story we brought to you earlier this year. Back in January, we introduced you to a mom who was hoping that a bill help find a kidney for her son. And it worked. NBC Connecticut's Leslie Mays has the success story. The hospital is celebrating this success story of strangers whose paths may have never crossed had it not been for that billboard, some hope and a healthy dose of selflessness. I will be eternally grateful to Rick. He will be someone forever on our list of people that, that we ask the universe to bless. Even through a teleconference, you can feel the sheer joy and emotion of Mary Kaziki, knowing her son has a new lease on life thanks to the selflessness of a stranger who gave him an organ. Rick has given Austin life. He has given him hope. He has given him dreams. He has given him a tomorrow. Mary's son Austin got that tomorrow in the form of a new kidney from Rick Dwyer, a Guilford man who saw this billboard Mary put up earlier this year in a public plea to find a living organ donor for her son. If she hadn't put that billboard up there, I wouldn't be part of this conversation today. As a parent of a, uh, a boy and a girl uh, roughly the same age as Austin, uh, it just really resonated with me. Rick says the sight of that billboard stayed with him. And about six months later, he wondered what had happened to the young man who needed the kidney. He called to inquire, not realizing he'd be the one to save his life. And at that point, I, I didn't think about becoming a donor, uh, but I was I was at point blank. Uh, are you interested in, in applying to see if you can be a donor? And uh, I just said, yes, I guess I am. Hartford Hospital says organ donation from living donors is critically important, making that billboard Mary put up a critical tool in finding her son's match. Hartford Hospital says the wait list for deceased organs is between five and seven years long for kidneys, and 20 people will die each day waiting for an organ donor. In those little steps to put the information out there where you can that you never know where it will reach. Mary says Austin is now looking forward to returning to work and being a volunteer. Before. You see hope. You see him talking about what's next. Leslie Mays, NBC.